Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to show you some of my favorite lippies from ColourPop. I purchased two of their ultra matte lipsticks and I fell in love with those two. And I just wanted to go back and get a couple more of the more popular uh, colors that I see sell out everywhere. And I just wanted to get those. And then I picked up some other colors that I saw people swatch on YouTube and they look very, very good and very pretty against their dark brown skin. And I love every single color that I purchased because there's not one thing that I dislike about the colors that I chose for myself. So in this video, I'm gonna just do swatches and you guys are gonna see how it looks on my skin. The first color that I already have on my list, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this because they are very, very hard to take off. Like, you definitely need some type of oil-based makeup remover to remove these because once you apply it and it finishes to a matte finish on your lips, it's not going anywhere. It stays in place. There's no smudging or anything like that. Um, let's see, it's not kiss proof because I'm kissing my hand and there is some type of transfer there. So it's not kiss proof. It's very, very hard to remove, but it is so worth the money, okay? So the first one that I have is More Better and this is one of the my favorite colors from ColourPop. This one it just kept selling out. Every time I went to the website and I got that email that it was restocked, I run over to the website and it was just completely sold out. So More Better is one of the more popular colors and I can understand why. I can see why everyone went crazy over this particular shade. It is very, very pretty. And I have this pair with uh, Night Moth from MAC. So very pretty if you guys love this. Definitely check them out. Okay, so this is Beeper applied to my lips and I don't have on any lip liner or anything with this right now but sometimes I do love to wear it with the lip liner because it is the perfect nude color you can definitely uh, play it up a little bit more if you want it brighter to apply more layers to your lips I just have on one layer and it gets great color pigmentation I don't see any of my natural color lips shining through the lip color it's a very pretty so you can pull it off definitely without a lip liner but if you are maybe a little bit darker than me and this is too light for you, you can definitely uh, go ahead and apply a lip liner. So I'm going to show you how it looks with a lip liner. This is Coco from Nicka K. You guys know I love this pencil to put with pretty much every lipstick I apply. And I'm just going to line my lips slightly with this. And this is Beeper with a lip pencil. This is Bumble applied with no lip liner whatsoever. And it's, not, it's nice, it's like a, I would say like a salmon color. It reminds me of a color from NYX. So now I'm gonna show you how it looks with the uh, pencil from MAC Night Moth. As you guys know, Night Moth oh. pretty much works with any lip color that you wanna just deepen a little bit. So here's Bumble with Night Moth Lip Pencil Applied from MAC. Very pretty, and I like this combination together. The salmon color with the uh, dark plumish reddish brown color from MAC is very pretty together. So this is Bad Habit, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks with the lip pencil. I think I'm gonna do Night Moth, let's see. Very pretty color. All right, so this is Lychee from ColourPop and it is a very vibrant, very pretty purple color. If you love the uh, pencil or the lippy pencil in Grind from ColourPop, then you'll definitely love this color. So this is how the color looks without any lip liner or anything like that. I'm gonna actually line my lips with the Grind lippy pencil and see how these two pair together. So this is the color outlined with the ColourPop Lippy Sticks Pencil and the color grind. And these two are the perfect match. These two together really complement each other very, very well. Grind is a tad bit darker than the Lychee Ultra Matte Lipstick. So it is a great lip liner to go ahead and just line your lips with these two. So if you have grind, then you'll definitely love Lychee. And if you already have grind pencil, then you do not have to go ahead and purchase another matching pencil for this lipstick. These two go very well with each other. Love these two. 
This is called Creeper. This is a very bright, vibrant red. Very, very pretty. This one is a reddish yellow tone red. And it is very, very pretty. It's very vibrant, very more of the yellow orange tone to it. It's a very bright red. But I'm gonna go ahead and match this with uh, Bossy Lippy Sticks from ColourPop as well. And you guys know they have a uh, matte lipstick to match this called Bossy as well. But we're gonna see how this fits in with this matte lipstick. ColourPop's lippy pencils are very smooth and very creamy. They're so easy to apply. They don't tug on your lips or anything. I really love their lip pencils. This is how Creeper looks with Bossy outlined around the lips. Now I didn't see much of a difference when I outlined my lips with the Bossy Lippy Sticks. So maybe these two are all the same color red. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand to see. As you can see, the uh, Lippy Pencil and the Ultra Matte Lipstick are pretty much close in color. They're pretty close in color. So if you just wanted to get one without the other, you could definitely do that. But if you wanted to go a little bit deeper with the uh, lip liner, then you can definitely choose a different color. Uh, Bossy lip liner doesn't really give any, you know, shade definition or shade uh, uh, variation between the two colors. They're pretty much the same color. They're definitely a dupe for one another. This is Limbo. This is a matte brown color. And this has been compared a lot to Salem. Uh, I think Salem by Lime Crime, I want to say. I don't own that one, so I really can't say. And I absolutely love this one. It only cost me $6, so of course I jumped on this as soon as I saw the release. And I love this matte brown color. It doesn't have a lip liner or anything like that. I don't need a lip liner because it's a pretty dark color. But if you wanted to deepen it even more, of course you can go ahead and line it with your favorite lip pencil. But I absolutely love the lip color without a lip liner. It's very pretty. It complements brown skin very well. This is one that I believe is very universal for as far as skin complexions. From the fairest, they can rock this and it'll be just a deep vamp look. To the darkest skin color, it could be just a warm muted brown color. All perfect for the fall season. So I really love Limbo. These things are very hard. They don't just wipe off with a makeup wipe. To keep from like hurting my lips, I just get a little bit of coconut oil and just rub it on my lips. So that's the only way that I found to remove these easily without hurting your lips. Right, so this is called Mars and Mars is a very bright pink so I hold it up next to Bad Habit and More Better and you'll see that Mars is a very bright pink over here okay so you see these I mean it is a very gorgeous it's a playful pink so if you're trying to just play up your makeup look your outfit just trying to be a little bit more flirty, girly. This is definitely that fun pink that you want to have in your collection. So this is a purple I'm gonna outline this with. You're trying to get like a different ombre effect and that's a very pretty combination. The grind with Mars, very pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one more coat over it just to see how it looks. Very pretty color. Guys, so that ends my lip swatch video for the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipsticks. I only have eight of them, so I definitely plan on picking up more of them because I really like these. And for the price point, they're only $6. Great quality products. Love matte lipsticks. And ColourPop is very, very good with producing different color ranges with these matte lipsticks. I'm just so happy that they don't have just a small line of colors for me to choose from for the matte. Uh, line. I love the fact that they have so I think they have about 25 or 26 shades of the ultra matte lipsticks Okay, and they still have so many more matte lippy sticks that I have not tried yet So I'm definitely interested in you know, just getting the whole collection of their matte uh, lipsticks and lippy products They are very lightweight on the lips. It doesn't feel like I have on anything on my lips um, But moisturizer I will say that they are a little bit drying 
So you definitely have to make sure that you put on some type of lip moisturizer. Um, I like to put my EOS Balm uh, chapstick on my lips as my base. Even though I put this on and it's kind of like a slippery um, texture before I apply the matte lipsticks, these dry to a matte dry finish. So it doesn't show through the lip color or anything like that. It doesn't uh, hinder the matte finish. It doesn't make it look glossy or anything like that. It still looks completely matte. As you can see, no shine whatsoever. And I use this underneath all of them, okay? If you guys are interested, I'll put their links below. They're only retail for about $6, and they have about over 25 shades for you to select from. Some of them are more popular colors than others, so they're sold out, but you can definitely sign up for their email alerts, their newsletters. They give, uh, they send out emails when they restock their more popular colors. So that's how I was able to land some of these, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video. And I have a makeup tutorial for this look, which I will be uploading shortly after this video. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stay flawless, boo.